Also tonight, the sentence for a man involved in the robbery of a teenager that turned deadly. And Darian McKinnis is set to go away for nearly five decades for his role in the death of Bryant Cueto. The announcement didn't go without a little courtroom drama. And 10 on your side, Jason Marks continues his coverage of the case tonight. Jason. Anita, the jury recommended almost 50 years. That means that McKinnis will be almost 70 when he's able to get out. Brian Cueto's family will tell you, though, at least he's able to get out. And Darian McKinnis was visibly upset when the clerk read how much prison time he's facing. 48 years for robbing Xanax from 18-year-old Bryant Cueto. Yeah, we was hoping for less time. McKinnis' dad said he just got caught up with the wrong people. Cueto was shot and killed during the robbery. McKinnis was found not guilty of that charge. I still stand behind my son, innocent, and my heart goes out to the family of the victim. McKinnis took the stand and asked jurors not to throw him away like a piece of trash. He said he could be a productive member of society. McKinnis did tell prosecutors he was a drug dealer and would sell anything he could get his hands on. A detective told the jury that just 12 hours after Cueto's murder, McGinnis was selling the pills on his Facebook page. There's not a day that goes by that I don't think about him. Cueto's family knows the reality. No verdict will bring Bryant back. I still don't really get any closure. I still never get to hear his voice again. I still never get to hear his laugh. But at least now I can put this part behind me and maybe begin to heal a little bit. McGinnis' attorney told the court today there are no winners. One man will be behind bars for a very long time and the other lost his life. I just know that now, you know, every birthday and everything is now at the Chesapeake Memorial Gardens. Um, that's where I get to go and visit my son now. Is that a great sight? It was very tough uh, to see Brian Cueto's family go through this trial. They're going to have to do it again here in early October. That's when McKinnis' co-defendant, Jaquan Wilson, he'll go on trial. As for McKinnis, he'll be officially sentenced coming up in November. That's the latest here in Virginia Beach. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.